What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today I'm going to do something I've never done before on this channel. I'm going to talk about coffee for the first time ever on this channel. Um, I talk a lot about it on my Instagram, which is Pens and Tea. Um, and I had asked you guys um, via like a, a poll on my story, do you guys want me to start talking about coffee? Um, and the overwhelming response was, yes, please. <laughs> so I thought I would, I thought I would start, um, with kind of the basics. Coffee is something that I've gotten into more recently within the last two years, I would say. Um, and I totally blame it on Europe <laughs> because I grew up for the first 26 years ish. Uh, 25, 26 years, hating coffee, like hating coffee. I thought it was disgusting. I always loved the smell. The smell of it was intoxicating, but the flavor was disgusting. I never understood how people liked it. It was just so bad. I couldn't drink it unless it had like 30 sugars and 30 milks and it was just like, <clears throat> so didn't go near it. <laughs> and then I went to Europe uh, and Everywhere there was coffee everywhere and it just smelled so good and I'm a firm believer of when you travel You do what they do there, right? So you take on a bit more of that local mentality you eat local foods you drink local food be like beverages you See the you know the local highlights not necessarily just the tourist places. So I had a cup of coffee <laughs> And it was so good. Oh my gosh, it was so good. So from that point on for the rest of my trip, I had coffee everywhere. I still drank tea here and there, but really I, I stuck to coffee and it blew my mind. I was like, how is it that coffee here is so delicious, but yet coffee back home in Canada is foul and makes me want to throw up. <laughs> Well, that's when I learned that there's a difference between coffee and coffee. So the coffee that I'd grown up trying was just basic grocery store coffee, which now that I like understand a little bit more, can be made better, but still not great. Um, you know, instant coffee, you know, like fast food coffee, which is basically the dirt level of coffee. And what I was drinking in these specialty places was like micro lot coffees, um, you know, ones that had been uh, roasted with care, picked with care, grown with care, like every, like a lot was put in to making these coffees delicious um, rather than just make as much as you can, as fast as you can, because I want your money kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So I started learning a little bit more about coffee. And here's the biggest thing that I've learned, okay? This is where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna break it down over several videos, but the first thing that you need to understand with coffee, whether it's grocery store coffee, specialty coffee, anything, is the difference between used by and roasted on. So most of the time when you go, you know, to find a cup of coffee or a bag of coffee, you're gonna find a difference between something like this. Uh, so this is like a, just a kicking horse brand. I only use this kind of stuff for like cold brew because it takes a lot of that bitterness out. But here you're gonna notice, if I can zoom in a little bit, there's an enjoy by date. So enjoy by June 12th, 2020 means I have no idea when these beans were roasted. I don't know how old these beans are. It basically just means that the coffee could go bad in June of 2020. It doesn't tell me anything else. And one thing that I have learned <laughs> tremendously makes a difference is the difference between that enjoy by date and, where is it here? A roasted on date. So this is a little fuzzy, I'll do a close up. This roasted on date tells me when the beans were roasted. You want to drink your coffee as close to the roasting date as possible. So this could have been roasted a year ago for all I know, Pfft, whatever. But I know this was roasted on September 23rd. 
It is now September 22nd. So I try and drink, because when I order, um, this one happens to be from Pilot Coffee Roasters, which is a, a local Toronto place. When I order, because I'm about an hour away from Toronto, I order um, three bags at a time. Um, so this is my third bag that I'm about to start. And I usually can drink them within the month that they're roasted. And even then I notice a difference between when I get it a couple days after it's been roasted versus almost, you know, not quite a month, but almost a month after it's been roasted. Because it depends on that freshness. And you want to grind every morning as well. So even though these are God knows how old, they are at least whole bean coffees, which keeps it a little bit fresher than if you buy pre-ground coffee. Like I said, I primarily only will buy this kind of stuff for cold brew. Um, that's a whole other conversation, but cold brew takes a lot of the bitterness away. Um, so that's what I use that for. Um, and then I use these for my morning brew. I'm a big like Chemex fan. I really like the AeroPress as well. I'm not a huge French press person, but every once in a while, depending on the type of bean, um, I, can, I can go there as well. So those are the two big factors. There are a ton of other factors and I am no expert, so I'm not claiming to be. Um, if you are looking for an expert on coffee to get really into the nitty gritty of it, check out um, a channel, channel called James Hoffman. Um, he's fantastic. I've learned most of what I know from him um, and like some, some people you know, here and there as well, but definitely check him out if you uh, really wanna get into it. But those are the, the two things that have made a huge, huge difference. 98% of the things that you see in a grocery store are going to have an enjoy on or enjoy by date, not a roasted on date. Most of the places that you'll see um, that are actual like, <clears throat> sorry, coffee shop places that will sell coffee like Pilot Coffee Roasters, if you're in Toronto or near there, definitely check them out. Um, do a little bit of research, see what coffee shops will sell you um, their coffee because it makes a massive difference. It is more expensive. Um, so if you're the kind of person that's gonna drink 30 cups of coffee a day, this will definitely, um, you know, bump up that price level. A bag like this is gonna cost you around 17 to 20 Canadian dollars, so less for Americans. A bag like this is gonna cost you like nine. So, but between the two, there's a massive payoff between them. So if you're only gonna have one or two cups a day, go with something like this. You're really gonna enjoy it because Oh gosh, it makes a difference. Okay, this is a very long-winded video for something that I only planned on being a few minutes. <laughs> oh boy. So those are the two things that I would recommend looking at first. Enjoy by versus roasted on. I'm gonna continue this series, um, you know, until you guys tell me not to because you don't like it anymore. <laughs> um, but this is just what I've learned in the last couple years. So Oh my God, this smells so good. <laughs> um, so let me know what you guys want to learn more about next uh, in the coffee field. And guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Bye.